What is up everybody? Welcome back to Mind & Co Yoga. My name is Kayla and today I'm going to take you through a flow about what it means to be capable. I just did this while teaching a class for aloe yoga and I really think it resonated with people there so I really hope it resonates with you as well. Today, if you didn't hear her just now, I have Toski here. She is a 14 year old dog that I'm watching. She might hop around while we <laughs> do class today so just give her a break. She's 98 in human years. She can do what she wants. Anyway, um, yeah, today is Monday, March 27th, aka actually, it is the Bachelor finale tonight. Will Zach find love? I don't know, it's kind of my guilty pleasure to watch that show, so we'll find out. <laughs> but anyway, go ahead, put on your favorite music, and meet me on your mat. Welcome to your mat. Toski's already making an appearance. We'll see what she does. <laughs> All right, guys, today, go ahead, meet me in a comfortable seated position per usual. Roll your, short, <laughs> roll your shoulders up towards your ears, and then let your shoulder blades fall down your spine. Hopefully, Toski's heavy stepping doesn't interrupt too much today. Anyway, we're going to start in a moment of mindfulness. As we think of all of the things that we have already accomplished, aka everything that we have already been capable of. And one thing that we've all been capable of already is showing up on our mat today, and that is a feat that should not go unnoticed be celebrated, that you're showing up on this journey to take care of your physical health, take care of your mental health, and build community. Think of one other thing that you've accomplished lately, and then actually lift your right hand and just give yourself a pat on the back. Good job, whatever your name is, my people. <laughs> Inhale, arms go over your head, gaze goes up. Big breath in. As you exhale, lower your left hand. Right hand comes to the outside of your left temple. As you let gravity assist your right ear down towards your right shoulder, lift your chin just maybe two centimeters up higher. Take a big inhale here, straighten your back a little bit. Exhale, let your hand be a little bit heavier. Now tuck your chin about two inches. Walk your fingers across to the back of your head. So your chin is touching your chest now, feeling a stretch in the back of your neck. And then inhale, both arms come over your head, your chin lifts. Exhale, your right hand drops. This time your left hand goes over towards your right temple. Lift your chin two inches as you allow gravity to assist your left ear closer towards your left shoulder. Take a big inhale here. As you exhale, drop your chin, maybe two centimeters. As you slowly walk your left hand towards the back of your head until your chin is meeting your chest. Inhale here as you straighten your back. Exhale as you release your left hand, allow your neck to return to a neutral position. Walk your hands out in front of you. Take your knees the width of the mat. We're gonna move into child's pose. Inhale first as you shine your chest forward, arch your back, kind of like you're doing a cow, and then exhale, guide your hips back towards your feet while your hands stay planted. Inhale here as you lift your chest once more. Exhale, walk your fingertips out two inches longer, send your hips back two inches deeper, and rest your forehead on the mat. Inhale as you press your hands into the mat, as to lift your elbows and your forearms as much as you can off of the floor, feeling the stretch in your side body without even leaning to one side. And then exhale, walk your hands over towards the right, crossing the left over the top of the right, moving the right out from underneath, and doing that until you feel a good side stretch in your left side body. Let your head hang heavy. Careful to not give too much effort yet. We're just waking up the body, letting it know, hello, we are on our yoga mat. We will be moving and breathing. And it's gonna be a little bit different than whatever posture you just came from, whether it's laying in your bed, sitting at a desk, 
even going for a walk, whatever it is, we will feel different. Inhale as you walk your hands back through center. Exhale as you move them over towards the left side of the mat, crossing the right hand on top of left, removing the left hand underneath the right until you feel a stretch in your right side body now. Let your head hang heavy here, relax your face. Big inhale here as we feel our diaphragm fill. Exhale as we sink a little bit deeper. Inhale, walking back through center. Hands reach the top of your mat. Exhale, sink a little bit deeper. Beautiful, inhale up to a tabletop position. Exhale, move your knees in just a little bit from child's pose so they're directly underneath your hip bones. Inhale, pressing into your left hand, your right hand rises, your chest opens up towards the left. Exhale as you thread the needle. We're only here for a second. One inhale as you move your left shoulder more back towards your right. I don't know if that was grammatically correct, but it's okay. And then inhale, right hand goes high. Gaze follows, exhale, thread the needle. Making a movement out of it. Inhale, gaze up, right hand goes up. Exhale, exhale, thread the needle. One last time, inhale, right hand goes up, your gaze follows. Exhale, plant your right hand down. Back to neutral tabletop. Inhale, left hand rises. Exhale, thread the needle here for one breath. Take a big inhale as you feel your diaphragm raise. Exhale, fall a little deeper. Inhale, left hand back up. Exhale, thread the needle, making a movement once more. Inhale, back up. Exhale, thread the needle. Last one, inhale, left hand goes high. Exhale, back to neutral tabletop. Take a few cat cows on your own, inhaling as you drop your belly low. Your toes can be tucked or untucked. Pulling your shoulder blades back, your gaze goes forward. Heart shines between your shoulders. Exhaling as you round your back, pushing the tops of your feet or your toes into the mat. Pushing it away with your hands. Gaze is at your navel. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Take two more of these at your own pace, going as slow or as quick as you need to. And when you're done, meet me in a downward facing dog. Leading with your exhale and leading with your hips. You go up into a downward facing dog. As I've said in previous videos, this is an inversion, <laughs> similar to if, you, if you're doing a headstand or a handstand. Downward dog too is an inversion and we actually did one before this in child's pose. So yes, you are capable of doing an inversion. Inhale, gaze to the top of your mat. Exhale, find yourself in a forward fold, however you would like. Inhale, halfway lift. Gaze out in front of you. Exhale, fold back down. There's three parts to the definition of being capable. And the first one is having the ability to do something. You might be thinking, well, yeah, no shit, capable, able, ability, ability to do something. It makes sense. <laughs> Inhale, halfway lift once more. Exhale, fall back down. But I think of the ability to do something as having the potential to do something. Inhale, all the way up. Stand up tall. Gaze goes high. Hands go high. Exhale, hands to heart center. Sanasthiti. Close your eyes. Relax your shoulders down. Press into your feet to feel all four corners of your feet into the ground. Feeling the ground beneath you supporting you. So if we're going off of this definition of ability meaning potential, then we collectively are all capable of anything. We all have the potential to come up and do anything. I have the potential to become a pilot. Does it mean I want to? No. But I could. Inhale, blink open your eyes, arms sweep over your head, gaze up tall. Exhale, come crashing back down. Inhale, halfway lift, gaze out in front of you. 
Exhale, plant your hands down, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Untuck your toes, pressing into the shoelace side of your feet. Exhale, downward facing dog. So if we're going off this definition of potential, think of what do you want to do? And before any limiting beliefs come into your mind, just reassure yourself that you do have potential to do it. Inhale, gaze to the top of your mat. Go onto your tippy toes. Exhale, bend your knees and find yourself in a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold back down. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, sink a little bit deeper. We have potential to hold chair pose longer than we want to. <laughs> we are capable of it. Doesn't mean we're going to, but we have the ability and we have the potential. Inhale here, gaze up at your hands. Exhale, hands can come to heart center in prayer. Twist over towards the right side, left elbow outside right knee. Your gaze can go up if it's comfortable on your neck. Otherwise, keep your gaze down. Hold here, take an inhale. Exhale, sink a little bit deeper. Try to pull your right shoulder over behind you. Inhale, back through center. Exhale, hands come to prayer. Twist over towards the left side now. Right elbow outside, left knee. Gaze goes up or down, whatever feels good to you. And exhale, twist a little deeper, sending that left shoulder behind you. Beautiful. Inhale, back to chair pose. Exhale, come crashing down, forward fold, straighten your legs. Inhale, halfway lift, gaze out in front of you. Exhale, plant your hands down, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Hold here for three breaths. You are capable of sucking the breath in through your nose intentionally. And you're capable of pushing it out through your nose intentionally. Your lungs have the potential to fill up completely with air. And they have the potential to completely deflate, expelling all of the air. This is, of course, if you simplify it, we're not going to talk about the residue and the science behind how your lungs never fully deflate, whatever. You get what I'm saying. <laughs> Inhale, gaze to the top of your mat. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold back down. Inhale, one leg mountain pose. Right knee toward your chest. Biceps by your ears. Hold here. Plant down all four corners of your left foot. Take a big inhale here. Exhale, bending into your left knee. Lower down into boat pose. Legs can be straight or they can be bent in your calves parallel with the floor beneath you. Take a big inhale. As you exhale, plant your hands, plant your feet. Inhale, up to reverse tabletop, hips go high. Feeling the stretch in your shoulders, you can let your head hang back, chin up, heart out. Very powerful pose. Take an inhale. Exhale, back to boat pose. Inhale here. Ooh, I'm gonna sneeze. Oh no, just wait. We're holding boat pose until I sneeze. And it's not happening. Go ahead, exhale. <laughs> Seated forward fold, straighten out your legs, drop your feet towards the floor. Your heart lays over your knees or your thighs. Hands reach for your feet. As you inhale, raise your chest a little bit. Take your right hand on the outside of your left foot. As you exhale, hold, preparing, maybe sending your left hand back behind you. And then inhale, raise that left foot off of the ground, the left leg with your right hand. Your left arm goes out behind you and your gaze follows. Inhale here as you shine your heart up. Exhale as you melt back down, grabbing the outside of your right foot with your left hand now, releasing your left foot. Inhaling now, lifting the right leg. Right arm goes out behind you, your gaze follows. Inhale, shine your heart up. Exhale, melt back down, forward fold. Inhale, lift your chest. As you exhale, plant your right hand down onto the mat. 
and meet me into a side plank. Hips go high, right arm down, left arm up. Your gaze can be down or up. Take an inhale here as you lift your hips higher. Exhale, if available to you, go ahead, raise that left leg off of the mat. Take an inhale here. Exhale as slowly as you can, stepping your left foot to the back of your mat now. Meet me in crescent lunge at the back of your mat. Left foot forward in a 90 degrees, right leg back and straight on the balls of your right foot. Gaze can be out on a floor or out on a spot on the floor out in front of you or up at your hands if your neck's okay with it. Try to have your biceps pulled back towards your ear as much as possible. Take an inhale here. Exhale, move into a half moon position. I'm a little close to this plant today. <laughs> Go ahead, push onto your left foot, right hand up, right leg up and flex behind you, left arm down. Shoulders are stacked, your hips are stacked. Flexing our right foot, engaging our left quad. Hold here, take an inhale. Exhale, open it up, warrior three. Hips and shoulders turn, turn down to face the floor. Relax your face. Pull your scapula back down your back, engaging your lower back. Take an inhale here. Exhale, standing split. Right leg high, left leg down, hands on the floor. Option to practice your handstand, pushing off of the mat three times. Or holding a split here. Whatever you do, take three breaths here. Wherever you are, take your vinyasa, chaturanga or not, and meet me in downward facing dog. Beautiful, holding here. Inhale, gaze to the top of the mat. Exhale, find yourself in a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, gaze out in front of you. Exhale, hold back down. Whatever we do on our right, we have the ability, we have the potential to do on our left. So let's go. Inhale, left leg goes high, knee to chest, biceps by your ears. Exhale, ground down. Inhale here. Exhale, slowly sit down into Navasana, into boat pose. Inhale. Exhale, hold. One more inhale. Relax your shoulders. Exhale, slowly lower your legs, forward fold. Inhale, lift your chest halfway. Exhale, left hand outside right leg or right foot. Inhale, lift your right leg up, right arm goes back, your gaze follows. Exhale, fold back down, switch your feet, crossing your right hand over towards your left foot, then inhale, pick up your left leg, left arm goes back, and your gaze follows. Take an inhale here. Exhale, lower your foot, lower your body back down. One inhale, one exhale as you plant now. Your left hand down onto the mat to meet me inside plank. Inhale as your hips go high, your right arm shoots up. Exhale as you lift your right leg off of your left. Inhale for strength. Exhale, bend into that right leg as slowly as you can. Step your right foot towards the top of your mat and meet me in crescent lunge. Biceps by your ears, 90 degrees in your right leg. Back leg is straight on the toes of your left foot. Take an inhale here. Exhale, sink a little deeper. One more inhale. Gaze to the top of your mat. Exhale, hands come down for a half moon. Right hand down, left hand high. Take an inhale here, hip stack. Exhale into warrior three. Hold here. Beautiful. One more inhale. Exhale, plant your hands down. 
standing split. You're welcome to try handstands here, or if you want to hold a split, that is fine with me. Either way, we are here for three breaths. Wherever you are, whenever you're done with this third breath, your vinyasa, take the chaturanga or skip and meet me in downward facing dog. Beautiful, we're gonna run through that flow one more time as we open up our body. Connecting to our breath. Inhale, gaze to the top of your mat. Exhale, bend your knees. Meet me in a forward fold. Breath to movement, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fall back down. Inhale, one-legged Tadasana, one-legged mountain pose, right knee to chest. Exhale, sit down, boat pose. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, fold forward and melt. Right arm, outside left foot. Inhale, left leg high, gaze goes back. Exhale, mount back down, left arm, right foot. Inhale, right leg high, gaze goes back. Exhale, melt back down. Inhale, halfway lift your chest. Exhale, plant your right hand, side plank. Inhale, hips go high. Exhale, left leg lifts. Inhale, gaze to the top of your mat, bend your knee. Exhale, slowly step forward, crescent lunge. Inhale, biceps by your ears. Exhale, half moon. Right leg lifts, hands out to a T, facing down. Inhale, exhale, warrior three. Inhale, find your stability. Exhale, standing split. Only one breath here. Take an inhale. And whenever you're ready, exhale, lower down your vinyasa. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, gaze to the top of your mat. Exhale, find yourself in a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, gaze out in front of you. Exhale, fold back down. Hoski's making a lot of noise over there. <laughs> Inhale, left leg to your chest. Left knee, perhaps. One leg mountain pose. Exhale, slowly lower down. Boat pose. Inhale here, lift your chest, lower your shoulders. Exhale, melt forward. Left hand outside, right leg. Inhale, lift your right leg high. Gaze goes back. Exhale, fall back down. Right arm outside, left foot. Inhale, lift your left leg. Exhale, fall back down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your left hand, side plank. Inhale, hips go high. Exhale, right leg hovers. Inhale, gaze to the top of your mat, bend your knee. Exhale, slowly step through to crescent lunge. Inhale, biceps by your ears, hold here. And then exhale, half moon, open it up. Lift off of your right or off of your left leg. Inhale, hold. Exhale, warrior three. Inhale, find your stability. Exhale, plant your hand, standing split or one handstand hop. Here for one breath. Inhale, and your vinyasa on the exhale. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. One last time, inhale, gaze to the top of your mat, go on your tippy toes. Exhale, this time, cross at your ankles, jump through and land in a boat pose. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, hold. The second part of the definition of being capable is having the physical attributes to be able to do something. Exhale, lower halfway. AKA, it's having the physical strength to do something. Inhale, up. If you don't have the physical strength yet, Exhale, halfway lower. Then remember you have the potential and the ability to have the physical strength. Inhale up. Exhale, lower. 
Inhale up. Exhale lower. Inhale up. Exhale lower. Inhale up. Exhale lower and hold. Inhale up. Exhale lower. <laughs> Start doing bicycles. We're going to do 20 on each side. One, two, three, four, five. At this pace. And just remember part of having the ability of being capable of doing something is having the physical strength. Let's do five more. Five, four, three, two, one. Knees to chest. Hold here in a little ball. Exhale, lower down. Take a quick counter pose. Plant the soles of your feet on the ground. Walk your heels until you can tickle them with your fingers. Inhale, hips go high for bridge pose. Hold here, take a big inhale. Exhale, hold. Try to send your hips just a little bit higher. One more inhale. Exhale, lower. Option to continue to bridge pose or take a full wheel. Hands go behind your back. Fingertips face your shoulders. Inhale, send it up. Bridge pose or full wheel. Exhale, hold. We're going to hold this one a little bit longer than the last. So we see our potential to continue to develop our strength. Inhale here. Exhale, send your hips a little bit higher. One more inhale. Exhale, hold. Last inhale. Exhale, tuck your chin slowly, lower down. Inhale, your knees towards your chest. Exhale, happy baby. Hands come to the outside of your toes or of your feet on the pinky edge side. Let your hips open up, rock side to side. The third definition of being capable is having the quality to do something. I view this as having the mental space, having the right mental attitude, allowing your thoughts to pass. Feel free to straighten one leg and then the other. Whatever feels good in this happy baby, please keep it. It is meant to be happy. <laughs> and inhale, knees coming towards your chest. Exhale, Shavasana. Hold here. Tuck your shoulder blades under your chest. Take this time to practice. Having that quality can make you capable of whatever you want to do, whether it's positive self-talk or whether it's trying again, having a growth mindset, or whether it's celebrating actually what you've already accomplished to encourage you Keep going on to the next thing while appreciating what you have now. Relax your face, your eyebrows, your ears, your jaw, the tongue off the roof of your mouth. Feel gravity pull your ankles, your hips, your wrists, shoulders, and head down towards the ground for support. Still being intentional with your breath. Practice this quality of mind to be capable. We're going to count our breath. We're only counting to 10. If you lose track, you can pick up where you started. But every inhale is a one. 
three, five, seven, nine. Every exhale is a two, four, six, eight. So it goes something like this. Inhale is one. Exhale is two. Inhale is three. Exhale is four. Pick up at your own pace all the way until you get to 10. Begin to wiggle your fingers, your toes. We take an overhead good morning stretch. And exhale, bring your knees towards your chest. Give yourself a hug. Tuck your head in towards your knees. So the back of your head and your shoulders are lifted off of the ground into like this little egg shape. Repeat these affirmations. You lower your head back onto the ground into a more relaxed little ball. Repeat these affirmations in your head or out loud. Whatever feels good to you. I'm capable because I have ability. I have ability because I have potential. I am capable because I have physical strength. And if I don't have the full physical strength yet, I have the potential to develop it. I'm capable because I have the quality it takes. I have the quality it takes because I have the mental awareness and mental space to achieve it. Take three big rocks up and down your spine until you land in a seated position. Whatever feels good to you. Eyes still closed or heavy, left hand on your heart, right hand, palm facing up on your knee. Relax your shoulders, relax your belly, relax your face. May we allow ourselves to receive all of these affirmations about our own capabilities entering through our left hand, puncturing our heart, and circulating throughout our entire body until it builds and builds and exits through our right hand, allowing us to complete whatever we would like to be capable of, only adding goodness to this world. Thank you guys so much for coming to yoga today, showing up on your mat. May you, for the rest of the day, Fill your mind with good company.